Hello and welcome to Indus News, coming to you live from our studios in Lahore. I am Fizza Jamal. These are the top stories of this hour. We start from South Asia, where in a dangerous escalation, Indian Air Force jets have violated Pakistani airspace. Pakistan's military spokesman, Major General Asif Ghafoor, said that the Indian aircraft intruded across the line of control in Kashmir before dawn. In a tweet, Ghafoor said that the Indian aircraft intruded about five kilometers into Azad Kashmir in Muzaffarabad sector. Ghafoor said that the Indian warplanes hastily dropped their payloads when intercepted by the Pakistan Air Force. The Indian intruders fled back into Indian-occupied Kashmir. Ghafoor said that the Indian warplanes' payloads were ditched in an unpopulated area. They caused no casualties or damage to infrastructure. India's Defence Ministry has said that it has no information about the incident. Following the air intrusion, Pakistan has warned India not to challenge it. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in a statement said that India is bent upon disturbing the peace of the region. He said that Pakistan is moving forward while demonstrating the behavior of a responsible state. Qureshi said that better sense should prevail in India. Meanwhile, Pakistan has persisted with diplomatic efforts to peacefully defuse tensions with India. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has told Britain's Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt that Pakistan has offered to cooperate in investigating the Pulwama incident. In a telephone conversation, he said that Pakistan has asked India to share any actionable intelligence. Qureshi reiterated that Pakistan desires a peaceful neighborhood and would not allow its territory to be used against anyone. He said that Pakistan remains committed to working for peace and stability in the region. Qureshi urged the UK to use its influence to defuse tensions in the region. According to a statement issued by Pakistan's foreign office, Hunt said that the UK was carefully monitoring the situation. He urged restraint on all sides and assured Qureshi that the UK would play its due role in reducing tensions. Qureshi also discussed the evolving regional situation with Poland's foreign minister, Jacek Zaputsowicz. And India's National Investigation Agency has carried out raids on the residences of Kashmiri freedom struggle leaders across Indian-occupied Kashmir. Officials said that investigators accompanied by Indian Occupation Security Forces raided nine homes to search for illegal funds. The Indian forces searched the home of Naeem Gilani, son of senior Kashmiri freedom struggle leader Sayyid Ali Gilani. The houses of freedom struggle leaders Shabir Shah, Yasin Malik and Ashraf Sehrai were also raided. Shabir Shah has been imprisoned in India for 32 years. These are all the top stories for now in this news. Thank you for watching.